In the tropics, we have three systems that we are watching right now. One is Jose, which is taking a beating at the moment, moving to the north, and that is expected to weaken considerably. We'll show you the track in a second. Obviously, a lot of people have been talking about Maria. It is expected to become a major hurricane within the next few days as it moves to the west northwest. And then we have Tropical Depression Lee, uh, which will fizzle out in the next couple of days. So first, let's take a look at Jose. As it moves to the north, it's going to encounter cooler waters. So we are expecting it to not be a tropical system by around Thursday or Friday, and it is expected to weaken considerably. It will move south a bit, we may see it move west, but it may be a very weak storm if it does affect land. Maria, this is expected to become a major hurricane, Cat 4 actually on the official forecast, and it is coming straight for Puerto Rico and also for the island of Hispaniola. However, you'll notice once we get to the end of the week, we start to see a very noticeable tilt to the north. So this is not Irma Part 2 that we're looking at. Uh, by and large, uh, all the models are in agreement, including the very good Euro model, where this high pressure system here that you see in orange is preventing Maria from moving north right now. But there is a weakness by the week's end that's going to allow Maria to move to the north and potentially, we're not quite sure, there, are, there is some potential for U.S. impacts, but this could potentially be a fish storm if it continues to move to the northeast. So right now, if anything changes, we'll of course keep you up to date on that, but as of right now, this looks to do what we wished Irma would do, which is to go north a lot faster. So that's the current forecast. 